Hey everybody, this is Tyson with Fuel Systems Research and Development. Alright, I just wanted to make a quick video so that you guys can kind of know where I'm at. Um, I don't like you leaving you guys in the dust for too long, so... Um, what I've been working on, uh, I've been getting drawn up and re-engineered and redesigned. and um, it's, a, uh, it's a fuel vaporization atomizing nozzle. And what it is, is it's a small nozzle. It's going to be about an inch and a quarter in diameter, two or three inches long. Um, and what it will do is it's going to atomize the fuel. Then after it's been atomized, it's going to um, vaporize the fuel into a gas type of a state, like a natural gas type state. Um, and then that will be fed into the intake. Um, I may deliver it in other ways as well, um, through the fuel rail or whatnot um but that will just have to we'll have to wait and see exactly you know what performs the best so i'm gonna go with the air intake route to begin with um a couple of other things that that nozzle is going to be able to do is it's going to be electronically controlled so i'll be able to inject however much vapor i i need to inject and then i'm also going to have it synced with my um with the RPMs of my engine so that as the RPMs increase the uh, amount of pulses that goes through this nozzle will increase as well and then it'll decrease as the acceleration decreases um, as the RPMs go down. Um, so I'm going to have to mess with different flow rates. Um, I'm going to hook, hook it up to like a pulse width modulator type of a system um, and then I'll just have to tweak it and figure out exactly what works as far as the amount of pulses per rpm um so there's going to be a, a you know a little bit of engineering that will have to go into that and trial and error um to get the exact pulsing time right and to get the the right amount of vapor in um, for all rpm ranges and this nozzle is also going to be able to be used as a steam injection nozzle um it'll it'll atomize the water and then It'll turn it into a steam, and then you can inject that into the throttle body as well. Um, it'll also be able to be used with HHO gas, um, and it will allow the, the HHO gas to be delivered safely to the, uh, the throttle body or the intake, um, and uh, it'll prevent backflashes and all that kind of stuff. And then another feature that it will be able to have is it will be able to actually make HHO gas. Um, almost instantaneously as the as the, the water vapors thro flow through there so it's a, a pretty neat setup I'm excited to get it done here pretty soon I'm in the final stages of the designing process and it's getting close to be able, being able to get machined I have to do some special machining on it um, because of how it how it's designed so the first the first product first one that I make is going to be quite expensive, probably cost me around $2,000 for the first one. Um, and then I'm estimating that all of the ones after that will be probably between like $25 to $75 to make. Just depends on how many I make at a time. So just wanted to give you that update to let you know where I'm at. Um, progress is being made slowly but surely. I'm excited to get this done and get this out there. Uh, then I can, once I test the first one, uh, I can also make a few extras and send them off to some people that have been helping me out a lot um, that have really contributed to to getting this where it needs to be I haven't had tons of help most people want to just sit down and wait for the end result um, and not actually get involved and do it so that's kind of unfortunate um, and it's been a little frustrating and a, a, a little bit difficult. I haven't had really, you know, much help with from engineers or anything like that. Um, but the guy that's been helping me do the CAD designs for this nozzle um, has done some really good work. And um, once that's all done, I'll post a, a video of everything, all the designs and um, some files of it as well. Because um, he gets all the credit for for getting it all drawn up so that it can be in a CAD format so it can be machined so um, but yeah he's helped me out tremendously and then the other guy that's helped with some of the funding 
he's helped out tremendously as well, and I want to say thank you um, to, to them, a special thank you to them, and a big special thank you, you know, to all those of you that support me, even if you're not able to, to work on systems yourself. Um, you guys share a lot of your own knowledge and throw out a lot of ideas, and I always appreciate that, so I want to give a big thank you um, to all of you that support me. And uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, as always. Share, um, share your knowledge. Help out if you can. And thanks. Peace out.